everyone, it's Damon here with Big AZ Speakers showcasing my Sansui Model Q3535 and matching SP220 preamplifier. The historical significance of, of this uh, particular amplifier is this is Sansui's first stereo uh, amplifier. So this is a tube, obviously, amplifier as well as a tube preamplifier. Now I have two other SP220s sitting behind it. Um, right there one thing that makes this one special and I can't find any record of it is obviously it looks a little different than the other ones so every picture I look up it looks like this one with the three lights on the top and the black on white uh, face this has gray on white with five buttons and then or excuse me five lights and uh, it does have the uh, brass or gold uh, finish obviously this one the face in this is really beautiful does have you know it's uh, showing of age a little bit but for the most part this is a really beautiful piece as is the Q3535 I have two of the Q3535s and then a SM235 which looks identical uh, to the Q3535 and is almost identical internally as well uh, but again I can't find any record on the 235 so just have to kind of figure out so I'm gonna pause it real quick, take the uh, cage off of this, let you guys look inside. Move in the flight to go around back here. Oh. Sorry, I'm not the best video over here. All right, I'm back. Got the cage off. Got to sit over there. Pardon the mess. I'm still working out of my temporary shop up here in Michigan but uh, normally I work out of Arizona and got this going through just uh, some Cernbeg AT15s as you can see the uh, transformers original on this and on the listing I do have pictures of the underside I'd like to take a look at the inside of this and then on the inside of the cage we do have look around here schematic here so again back to this preamplifier this thing is amazing looking I don't know why there was a variation um, not able to find any documentation on on there being different uh, iterations or versions of the SP220 but as you can see I've seen a couple of these ones sold I know most people that have the Q3535 are hunting for the SP220 but uh, I'm including this one on the sale of this one just because I think it's extra special and it's beautiful it sounds great I do think that uh, the uglier one back here sounds a little bit better but that's only when hooking them both up and comparing the two together otherwise I have no no issues with the sound on this one I think it sounds pretty amazing so I'll turn up a little bit of music um, actually I'll show you through this first hopefully since I'm sitting so close to the speaker we don't get any distortion but balance control I got speakers wired backwards on accident Just going through my switch box over there and So I went through and cleaned the controls on this pretty well. So I'm not getting any. Sorry, I lost my train of thought messing around here. So I cleaned the controls out pretty well for you. 
so not getting any uh, that rice crispy sound in there but not to say I won't come back and need a treatment here again in the future I mean, this stuff's pretty old but I've actually gone through and cleaned it about three times in the last uh, two weeks just to keep it pretty uh, run smoothly for you so the rumble filter on this I noticed you have minor difference on this my other one it's more profound so I don't know why it, it doesn't uh, impact the sound as much as, as the other one back there but and then the power switch on this is normally in the master volume control but obviously that failed a long time ago so they moved the power switch onto a toggle switch onto the back here which does work it's kind of a inconvenient location but is what it is and I'm glad they didn't do like they did on this one and and uh, drill a hole in the face so that's pretty heinous Here I'll put a song on with a little more uh, sound to it but as you can see this has plenty of warmth No distortion in the bass. Get a nice, good punch out of here. My highs are crisp. So we'll do a little uh, Pink Floyd money. Hopefully, I don't turn it up too loud for you. And these do work by the way. Trying to distort my mic a little bit, but I'll turn it up so you can hear it. Get back. You know, we can send it, have speakers hooked up in the other room so you hear them in the background. Switch them over to that. Balance control. Now, one thing I thought is kind of odd: balance control. When you balance from like left to right, it'll turn off the sound from one speaker to the other, but it increases the sound on the one that you're leaving off. So, or turning off. Excuse me. Turns down the one you're turning off, but the other volume increases on the opposite speaker, as you can probably hear there. But. It does balance out just fine. Again, this switch box here is one of the coolest things. 
and I've been wanting one. So I can actually switch sources and amplifiers and speakers all in one box there. So pretty neat find. Pardon my mess, please. Alright, hopefully this turned out well and the sound doesn't get too distorted. Uh, definitely try headphones, but I hope this gives you a good tour of this very special amplifier by Sansui. And also, if you haven't read up on Hashimoto uh, transistors, uh, pretty famous, and that's who made the output transistors for Sansui back in the day. So, there's some not a lot of information out there, but there's a a good website on two, I think, I don't remember it off the top of my head, but two bamps um, cover the whole section of Hashimoto and Sansui and the history there. And you'll see this listed um, as the first stereo amplifier. Now also, because I do have two that match, if you're wanting, if you're interested in buying both with uh, one of the SP220s and uh, run them uh, as mono blocks, you can do that. Uh, feel free to reach out to me and we can uh, talk shop and um, see what we can work out for you. So thank you for your time and this is a long video but hopefully worth it to you. So thank you very much and take stay tuned.